guys! So today I will make a mukbang video. Hopefully I will get more subscribers from this video and then just give it a try, see how it goes. Um, mukbang seems like a popular topic at the moment, everyone's doing it. Um, people eating a lot of food, but you can see I can't eat a lot of food. Like I have a really tiny stomach. Um, so. I'll do a variation of mukbang. I'll make a really simple dish. So it take about five to ten minutes to make. Then I'll try to eat it in front of the camera. Um, even though myself I think it's gross. But anyway, and then hopefully you like my video and then subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's give it a try. Let's go. Usually my husband would do the filming, but today just myself. So just bear with me. I uh, will do a Chinese pancake. Uh, it's called Tong Yu Bing. Use uh, spring onions. So I made this. Oops. Spring onion. I made it a um, couple days ago, but you can still use it. It's just uh, oil and a bit of uh, Sichuan pepper. Once the oil is hot, put in the spring onions and the, these uh, spring onions are finely chopped. And also need to make a dough. This is put in the fridge and then can use it later. So it's a really simple dough. Just use flour and you put in uh, boiling water and put a little bit at a time until it's soft and you have to knead this. So right now uh, we need to knead this to make it like a pancake. Because I left this in the fridge for two days and uh, the moisture is coming out is getting a bit uh, sticky. Um, if you do this fresh, usually because you use boiling water, it gets really hot. So just be careful, don't burn yourself. And I don't have a roller here, so I use a glass and then it will just do it the same way. Roll it out. So here, here was about one hundred grams of flour. Um, for me, that's enough. For one meal. So now you can see our dough is to a thin sheet, square shape. Now we can put in our spring onion oil. Uh, just spread this on top. This is a Sichuan pepper with salt. You can buy this from Chinese supermarket. It's already grinded to powder. So you don't have to do it yourself. And just give it a bit of uh, over. Okay. Now we can try to roll this. We cut them uh, from the bottom side to cut this to two, three pieces. So you do two cuts and on top and the bottom. So now we can roll this. We just put the top layer, we fold it to the middle and the bottom back up. Now to the middle, top down, bottom up. the last. Do the same. Okay. Now we have our dough folded. Now we can deep fry this. 
So now we need to heat up our pan to medium low heat and then just put our pancake in. This pancake is already filled with oil so you don't need to put in any oil normally. Now you can see the oil start bub bubbling. Then we can try to use our spatula to press it flat in the pan. You can turn it on one side it's cooked. You have to be careful. Yesterday when I made it, I just tried to turn it with the spatula and the oil totally splashed on my arm. Can you see right now it's, it's gum. But last night was really bad. It was like really dark color on my arm. So when you turn it, you have to be careful because this pancake is not really light. So usually you need two hands to turn it. Now you can see a turn it and one side is already golden brown and now you can try to press it more make it flatter So my lunch is ready, you can have a look I apologize if it's too small but uh, I normally only eat half of this and uh, I bought some miso soup I like this kind of miso soup, it's just so easy. You just need a bit of water, then you can make soup out of this. So, which one should I try? Seaweed, green onion, tofu. I'll try the fried bean curd. Fried bean curd. And I like this kind of um, miso paste in a um, bag. You can also use these for some other dishes. For noodle, I just put it in as a soup base and save a lot of space and they don't go bad that quickly. Okay, so we can make the soup. So 
I guess now we can talk about some something about me. actually still living in China and um, when I was um, 20 years old um, I decided to go to Australia to study actually lots of Chinese do that um, so but I, I could speak English perfectly like fluently maybe not like perfect but fluent um, so it wasn't a big problem for me. Mm. When I got there, even though I was al alone, I had no friends, I don't know anybody, mm. no family members, nobody was like in Australia. Mm. But that was okay for me. Um, I could study, so my life had a purpose. I know I knew what I wanted to do. Mm. Then we decided to move to Germany and it's a really long and pen painful process because I couldn't speak a word of German. It's like uh, I, when we met each other we always talked to each other in English. I never had a chance to speak German and um, I would hear he talking to his brother in German because of shh. To me I didn't really have a reason to learn German but then once we decided like we're gonna move to, to Germany and um, I didn't even I didn't really give a thought like I didn't think about uh, what would happen what should I do in Germany mm, I just thought mm, nice I'll learn a new language maybe later and I can get a better job that was all like imagination so we moved here and uh, we both had no jobs and then just difficult, like uh, I couldn't speak, like um, people, I, I don't know if they're really racist but they would get, get this kind of look, like, like they don't really want to talk to you, like when you go to the shop, everyone in front of you, the, the she I would say hello, guten tag, or whatever. And when I was there, nothing, just quiet. And uh, I really thought I should learn maybe just a little bit. And I also I couldn't communicate with my in-laws. That's the biggest problem. Like you live with someone, but you can't really communicate. And it's just awkward. So um, I start learning German. Mm. For now, I learned about for six months, seven months of German. Now. Mm. It comes to the point I can understand a lot of things. Like on the streets, when people are talking, on TV. A movie, I, still, I also can watch German movies. It's not like a, I can speak fluent German, but um, it's good enough. Like uh, simple things, and I, I don't think I could ever speak German fluently. Hopefully, I could. I don't know. Mm. Speak 
speak fluent English. My third language maybe is German. And uh, if I could, in, if I could in the future speak German fluently, and I would really learn Spanish. Spanish seems like a useful language. Or Japanese. I love Japan. So maybe Japanese. Mm. And also because I couldn't speak, so I couldn't really work. Mm. And um, my husband started making YouTube videos. So you guys, if you are interested in like uh, unboxing, he's also making some 360 videos. You can check out his channel. But uh, yeah, so I start making my own channel and hopefully I'll get some friends, um, meet new people, just have a great experience and money.
because of that he couldn't make his own videos, which is... I feel sorry for that. So I'm fe feeling guilty every time when, when he had when he has to make videos for me and he couldn't make his own. Or because he has to make videos for me, then he doesn't have time to, to relax. than being Australian but I just love Australia so much and uh, at the beginning when, when, we were, when we moved to Germany then there's a um, TV show in Germany um, called Goodbye Deutschland with lots of uh, uh, people who move overseas from, from Deutschland and uh, there was uh, like a couple moved to Australia Go somewhere, I'm not sure of it anymore. But I just cried, like, I can't control myself. I just feel so sad. Why I left Australia, I come to Deutschland, and there's no job, no friends, nothing, and no beach, no ocean, can't go swim. And But now it's getting a lot better because after I went to a language school. I got to know a lot of people, even though they're all like younger than me, but uh, I kind of adapt into it and I can do lots of things myself. I, I don't have to rely on my husband for everything, like going to shops and stuff. Mm. Mm. And puzzle is really not that bad. Mm. I guess it's just a process um, for everybody who is moving to a new place. You get um, unsure, uncertain, and then you're depressed, and then you find yourself again, and you start it again, everything. Um, so now I'm trying to start a new life again with making my YouTube videos. Although it's not doing really good at the moment, but I can see hope. A slide of light in the darkness. I'm just going to eat the outer crispy layer and leave the rest for later and finish my soup. Three classes a week, 
which cost me 45 minutes, it's like really minimum. And nobody could learn anything from it. And I had a really bad grade in school. Like everything else are good, like I'm super good with math and stuff. But English was horrible. Like I remember in school we had this kind of uh, uh, homework whatever and there was lots of exercises you can do and every life the lessons you get uh, exercises and if you do it really good the teacher will give you a star and then put a stamp the shape of a star on the cover and um, I saw everybody was getting like 10 15 20 stars and now uh, we had one and I, I totally felt like I, I could spell it but then I guess I just got lucky, like uh, that year we didn't do an exam for English or it wasn't like really a serious exam, just like in, in the classroom and then I didn't really have to study or anything. I think I just didn't want to study English. To me, why would I have to learn English? Um, I don't know, but now it's like a really useful thing to learn. I guess I learned English more um, after maybe I think it's in the uni maybe because I wanted to go overseas and I had to learn mm. in China you can go this kind of uh, extra um, special school to learn English they do like um when everybody's having some holiday, like for two months, I was learning English in school, in this special school, like from 9.15, 9 o'clock until 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, or just whole day. For one. Mm. But, uh, but it was really helpful. So when I was in the uni, everybody had to do exam and fell so many times, so I could just do it once and I was done with it. Sorry, stop speaking German. Mm. So for me, learning German is the same. English and German, kind of close related language, I don't know. Lots of words are very similar. How to speak English really helped me how to to learn German. Um, I could speak like easy things in German. With my husband, obviously. Was willst du zum Essen? Bist du müde? Hast du Hunger? <lacht> Easy stuff. But I don't think I'm prepared to work with my kind of German. It just sucks. But, uh, just takes time. I don't know. Maybe two years, maybe three years. I don't know. Hopefully no longer than five years that I could speak German fluently. I find it's really difficult to like when we have an argument to argue with him in German. Like I don't have that word. Those words they're not in my head. They, they don't come out easily. But I always try to win. It's easier with English, I can just win, but in German it's difficult. Also, when we have a discussion with the higher level, I don't know, about a movie or about 
refugees, politics, it's just a lot harder with this journal. And in German, have all these kind of words really similar and, um, with a prefix, and then the meaning is totally changed. And then I get so confused. It also doesn't help when people are talking really fast and with a dialect. But I get it. It will just go away, like I had problems in the beginning English, now I have a problem with German and later maybe 10 years that will be perfect in both languages. I took the time to learn. Mm -hmm. So I guess I know a bit more about German than my husband know about Mandarin. But um, mm. we're gonna do a language challenge. I know I will crush him. I know he's probably watching this video too. But I know I know more. So for me, I really want to do it and to see how much he knows about Chinese. I, I get like the words he probably know in Chinese. Mm. He's probably already better than many, or most of people. Most of non-Chinese people. to this eating and talking at the same time is I was brought up with this concept of uh, and uh, Chinese who say don't speak when you're eating mm, you will bit your mouth when you're eating and speaking at the same time but uh, it's funny how many Chinese open their mouths when they're eating although they're not speaking but they're making up this uh, eating sound like I didn't notice why I was doing it, but I, st I tried to stop doing it. But I noticed how my parents were eating, and my husband just gave me the face like, couldn't you hear it? Like, really loud, my parents are eating with a really loud open mouth noise. I kind of think it's cute in a way because really enjoying it, and they're really concentrating on the food, and they're not thinking about. Nobody cares about the noise. We all want to know is oh, how good the food is. Mm. watching it and find it's disgusting or it's not a real mukbang 
video. I guess it's okay. Sorry, I'm already eating too much. So, mm, if you like my video, please subscribe. And uh, if you leave your comments, I will always respond. Um, I guess the purpose of doing this is um, to meet new people. And uh, life is really hard here. Yeah. I 
Dneska nešla. A já ja, ne. Mm. I'm still not used to this eating and talking at the same time. It's, I was brought up with this concept of... Uh, and uh, Chinese was saying, don't speak when you're eating. Mm, you will bit your mouth when you're eating and speaking at the same time. But uh, it's funny how many Chinese open their mouths when they're eating. Although they're not speaking, but they're making up this uh, eating sound. Like, I didn't notice why I was doing it, but I, st I tried to stop doing it. But I noticed how my parents were eating, and my husband just gave me the face, like, couldn't you hear it? Like, really loud, my parents are eating with a really loud open mouth noise. I kind of think it's cute in a way because they're really enjoying it and they're really concentrating on the food and they're not thinking about the noise. Nobody cares about the noise. We all want to know is oh, how good the food is. Mm. Hopefully we could be YouTube friends. So see you next time.